Hey, what is going on, YouTube Madden family? We are here, and we've talked about good cards. We've talked about favorite stuff. We've talked about bad stuff. We haven't talked about bad cards yet. Let's talk about bad cards. Um, so <laughs> what we want to do today is we're going to go over each position with a 98 or a 99, because it's it's the fair way to do it, and talk about which is the worst one. Because um, in fairness, not all... 99s are created equal and some positions don't have a lot of 99s so that's why we're doing both right it helps out with the filter uh so we're gonna sort alphabetically here so um i don't know what you guys are thinking for quarterback and simply because he's a 99 and he was he was someone we all wanted to see in the game. Baker Mayfield, I apologize. You are the worst, the worst 99 quarterback in the game simply because you have no abilities, right? All the other 99s have abilities. And abilities are pretty damn important in this game. Um, and that's unfortunate. I want it. I, oh, man, I want Baker to get a good card next year. Now, let's look at running backs. Now, obviously, these draft cards could hold the board, honestly, for everything. But that's not 100% fair to do. Now, which 99 overall card? Because there's, there's enough running backs here where I think we can signal out or single out a 99. And, uh, honestly, Earl Campbell. This is not a 99 at all. There's no... This is a this look 99 rated, right? 90 99 rated. This guy is also a 90 You get my drift. We're not doing fullback though. Wide receiver. Again, I could easily pick certain cards very easily <laughs> that just were not good. And then we didn't get a ton uh a ton of 99 receivers. Um but Jesus like, I want to say Rod Smith, right? Because he was just, n like, nobody, ca n nobody cared about him whatsoever. You could say Dwight Clark. Again, eh. You could go with Antonio Brown because he doesn't have Playmaker. So this is a tricky one because i think playmaker is 100 percent essential for a receiver at least in this point in the game let's go see which of these receivers have playmaker let's start at the bottom uh juju playmaker rod smith playmaker shan sharp sterling sharp playmaker ridley playmaker jerry rice playmaker andre reed playmaker moss playmaker jarvis landry julio calvin DeAndre Hopkins, Marvin Harrison, all of Playmaker, AJ Green, Larry Fitzgerald, Larry Fitzgerald has it, Dwight Clark has it, Chris Carter, Carmichael, Odell, who, the only one who doesn't have it is Antonio Brown. Now, his stats are really good. His stats are really, just sort of like Baker. I gotta think that that's, it's the most useless one of the bunch, in my opinion. Tight end. Now, we didn't really get a ton of tight ends um, that were high rated, honestly. Uh, which was sort of disappointing because I, I love a really, really good tight end. And we never really got a really, really good tight end. But it's easily, it's Antonio Gates, 85 speed. What the hell? No, nobody has, nobody wants that card. I'm not doing offensive line. Come on. We're not, we're, we're not going to that level. Left and lots of pretty good cards here. Um, but we see that some of these cards have secure tackler. And if you had secure tackler, you're immediately not eligible to be the worst. Now we got Aaron. That means we got Aaron Donald. We got Brandon Graham. We got too tall. This too tall was actually really, really good. Um, JPP or Reggie White. Now, simply based on all that, I got to go... All these cards were actually really good. <laughs> they were all really good. Uh, if I had to be a dick, it's a JPP. No, they're all good. They were they were all good. JPP. 
They were those cards were all actually really good. Some they didn't have secure tackler, all of them, but they were all like really useful. John Abraham's a monster. Let's get that straight. Joey Bosa was is a good card. Mr. Chubb, obviously, we could do a draft card. Um, Richard Dent, glitchy hand of God. Everson Griffin, underrated card, very underrated card. Cam Jordan's got secure tackler that takes him out of the mix. Bruce with the O. JJY again, a very a pretty good card, pretty pretty good card, pretty good card. Uh, but I want to pick a 99 here, and if I have to pick a 99, uh, I don't know. Again, these are all pretty good. They're all pretty. I want to pick Trevor Price because he he's got battle ready. Um, no, it's Julius Peppers. Who ju- who put hot hands on this card? If this card was a linebacker, he would have been amazing. Because you could actually put him down there and use him and stuff. Man, disappointing. Um, but although defensive line's tough. Because there's only like three stats that matter and everyone gets good ones anyway, you know? Uh, defensive tackle. Again, all these cards were honestly pretty good. Um, especially in their own right. Um... They all gave me problems at times when I played them. They really, really did. Uh, But that means we got to go to the abilities, right? And simply based on ability, is it John Randall? It was really good. Sue? It's probably, it's Sue. Sue? Yeah, Sue. Sue was the worst. Sue was the worst. Let's keep going. Left out. <laughs> These cards. Disgusting. So good. Uh, and I'm going to say, honestly, it's Willie McGinnis at left outside linebacker. Um, Von Miller did so, did so many things so good. Yeah, he doesn't have secure tackler, but you can get secure tackler on Vaughn. We're going with Willie. P. McGinnis is the worst there. Middle linebacker, again, just amazing cards. And I honestly use them all, except for... I mean, this is Danny Trevathan. No, nobody wanted that. Um, but if I... He's the worst. He's the worst on that list. That's not even a question. Um, who else? This Vontaze Burfitt card. Really good. Just really slow. And I tell you, that's not going to lend him well for this. <laughs> for right here. Uh, yeah. It's got to be perfect. Right? Yeah, perfect. Sorry, man. You got one card all year. And nobody wanted it. Uh, 99 cornerbacks. There's a lot of these. There was a lot. And so many that you could pick. I'm not going to pick the draft cards just because. I think it was a most disappointing card. If Dion had secure tackler or something, he'd have been just beautiful but i'm gonna go with mel renfro um because he didn't have dion stats and he didn't have secure tackler dion was a bit better version of that i think that's fair uh free safety i mean obviously you could pick a lot these cards weren't very good um everyone had sean taylor everybody had sean taylor the cliff harris was fine dawkins's stats are really good actually uh this Bayard's terrible though he was terrible Bayard, Ugh. that card wasn't worth anything when it came out. Like, bruh, strong safety. We didn't get a lot of these cards, man. We did not. Now it's easy to pick Lamarcus Joyner. I know it's easy to pick Lamarcus Joyner. This Larry Wilson was really good. Uh, Harrison Smith, I've never used. Obviously, Ed Reed was a ball hawk. Ronnie Lott, I guess he's really good. Um, but I got to go with, (sighs) 
I didn't use a lot of these cards, so it's hard to say. The easy one to say is Joiner. Larry Wilson was just fast, wasn't he? Yeah, he was really... He, he made so many plays. It's got to be Lamarcus. It's Lamarcus Joiner or nobody in that page. So uh, that is it. Let me know if you guys disagreed. Again, oh shit, I dropped my controller. Whoops. Um, let me know what you guys thought, right? I, I, I like to know what you think. And uh, if you guys had some other cards that were maybe lower rated that you guys really, really hated, you know, let me know. That way we can do this. We can play off it. Maybe we'll go through the comments and uh, analyze what you guys have to say if there's enough of you guys to do it. Until next time, I'm Cece. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. And I'm out. Peace.